Yo, over here. Sorry about that. Looks like everyone's getting a little jumpy during this pandemic. It's only a matter of time before this corona shit takes off. And when it does... It's every man for himself during the chaos. But that's when these five steps come in. Some are fun, some are challenging, and some are just straight up depressing. But you'll need to follow each and every one to the letter in order to survive a zombie apocalypse. But without any further ado, let's go. Although the first, this might be the most important step of them all. In the days leading up to the madness, everyone's gonna be preoccupied with gathering supplies for their survival. Whether it's food, water, weapons, or anything that might give them a chance to live another day. Riots are gonna be widespread everywhere around the globe and trust me, being alone during all this chaos is the last thing you want to be. Find a crew. People you can trust and go thick and thin with in any situation. No matter who you gotta hurt. No matter who you gotta steal from. You secure the keys to your group's survival no matter what it takes. A lack of coordination or structure in a squad is always a recipe for disaster. This step speaks out to anyone willing to assume some sort of leadership position in a group. It's a difficult role to assume of course, but it's by far the most important in order to give your crew a chance to survive this madness. As a leader? Always put the crew's life above all else. Lead with confidence and be prepared at any time to possibly make the most difficult decisions of your life. What are you prepared to sacrifice? I think this step is pretty self-explanatory to be honest. This is where the fun begins. After running and gearing up for so long, you stand your ground and fight with all your firepower. You just do not notice how we This, by far, is the most difficult step to overcome. If you guys can't get past this one, 
then everything else I've just mentioned might as well have been completely useless. All this zombie slaying might look and sound cool, but don't get the wrong idea. Bad shit is gonna happen and there will be casualties, that's for sure. In other words, these are the moments where shit gets real. But no matter how hard it gets, no matter how badly you want to quit, no matter how impossible surviving this situation may seem, your group must come together during these dark times and push through to the end. At this point, I think you guys realize this isn't really a realistic output on this hypothetical. For real, I just played way too much COD Zombies and decided to make this video as fun as possible. But even so, as for this final step, it's up to you to define it really. Freedom can mean a lot of different things for people and you choose how to end your story. <laughs> Whether it's a happy, sad, or depressing ending to it all. I know this might be a little contradictory to the title of this video, but in such a crisis, no one's gonna have the same point of view on anything. Some are gonna fight desperately hoping for a cure one day, and others will accept their fate right from the beginning. However, which route would you take? Hey, we back on the send card again, let's get it! This has to be my favorite video for sure. I love zombies way too much. Leave in the comments what your favorite map is if you guys play it too. Mob of the Dead is mine all the way. Anyway, I know I haven't been able to upload as much lately. Um, college has literally just been swamping me, it's actually nuts. But you guys should look forward to my end of the year video. I have big plans for it and I'm gonna go all out as always. But, leave a like, subscribe, share this video if it made you smile just a little bit. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.